This is the Hermitage in Nashville, Tennessee, the home and final resting place of America's seventh president, Andrew Jackson. The man who lived in this grand house was simple, plain-spoken, smart, ambitious, and tough as an old hickory stick, according to the soldiers he led. It would be easy to idealize or demonize Jackson. He embodied some of the best and worst qualities of America. He was patriotic, pious, and visionary, but he was also a slave master and responsible for the forced relocation of Native American tribes to the West in the so-called Trail of Tears. Perhaps it is fair to say Jackson was a man of his time. He was born in South Carolina in 1767, the child of Scotch-Irish immigrants. His father died shortly before he was born. At 13, Jackson joined the Continental Army, was captured and marked for life when a British officer struck him with a sword for refusing to clean the man's boots. By the time Jackson was 14, his mother and two brothers had died and he was alone. He studied law. At 21, he became a lawyer and moved to Frontier, Tennessee, where he met and married divorcee Rachel Donaldson Robards. In 1804, they purchased this land and with slaves began building a cotton plantation that would eventually cover over 1,000 acres. Jackson had a hot temper and there were fights and duels. In 1806, he fought a duel with a man in a dispute over a horse race and an insult to his wife. The other man fired first, striking the future president in the chest. Jackson returned fire, killing the man. Much of Jackson's military career involved fighting Indians, including the two Seminole Indian Wars in Florida. In 1814, Jackson was made a major general in the American Army. He came to national attention the following year after defeating the British Army in the Battle of New Orleans. Returning to Tennessee a national hero, he soon began construction of the mansion we see today. Jackson ran for president in 1824, and while he won the popular vote, there was no majority, and the House of Representatives gave the election to his opponent, John Quincy Adams. Four years later, he ran again and won. Sadly, his beloved Rachel died just before the inauguration. She was laid to rest in the corner of the garden Jackson built for her. After his two terms as president, he returned to the Hermitage, where he lived until his death in 1845 at the age of 78. Jackson is buried next to his wife. After the Civil War, the Hermitage fell into disrepair. The people of Nashville eventually stepped in and saved the place. Today, thousands visit each year. The Hermitage in Nashville, Tennessee is a great place to take time to travel. <laughs>